Hey guys, what is going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome to a brand new Minecraft Pocket Edition mod showcase. But today, get down here, freaking cactus. That was about to kill me. Uh, but today, instead of showing you a mod, I'm going to show you guys how to install mods on Minecraft Pocket Edition. So since I've been starting to in these videos, you guys are like, oh, how do you install mods? I want to play with these mods as well. Uh, so today, I am going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's go in here. And uh, just kind of take chill so that nobody comes and kills us when it gets to night time. There's a couple of things you need on your Android device for Minecraft Pocket Edition mods. Uh, and I'm going to run you through them straight away. So, first things you want to do is you want to back out of Minecraft completely. You don't want to be on Minecraft. You want to be on your phone's homepage. Now, mine looks like this. Uh, yours will look possibly very simple and uh, similar. And I've got the things you need at the top here. So, what you want to do is go into the Play Store and search for Block Launcher Pro. And it should have a little image like this one up here at the top. And that is the first thing you need to download. So, once you've downloaded that, uh, you also obviously need Minecraft Pocket Edition 4. Uh, but once you've downloaded Minecraft uh, Pocket Edition and Launcher Pro, you do not want to open Minecraft through the Minecraft Pocket Edition app. You only ever want to open it through this app here, which is the Launcher Pro. That basically launches up Minecraft just like this, but it also launches up the ability to have mods put into the game. So again, we're going to go back out and we're going to go home. Then you also want to download something called Minecraft Mod Packs, which is this one right here. Uh, the thumbnail should look just like that. And once you've downloaded that, if you open it up, what it will do is it will give you a load of different Minecraft Pocket Edition mods. Now, there are other ways you can install mods, guys, which is by going onto direct websites and downloading the link through that. But I'm just going to show you the easiest and the safest way to download them for now. I might go into the other one in more detail in a bit of future, but this is definitely to get you started. So once you've downloaded this app, you want to go down here to the uh, edition of Minecraft Pocket Edition that you have. So we have 0.10.4. The other ones usually do work, so if you go down to 0 0.9.5, these ones will very likely work, um, but I don't recommend it. I just would recommend going for, going for these mods up here. And then what you want to do is you want to click on them. So for example, uh, possibly the best mod available is the Too Many Items mod. So if you click onto that, it will bring you onto this page. You want to scroll down, and what it will have down here is a download link, and it will also tell you what that mod does. So it tells you how to install it here, and it is as simple as that. All you need to do is click download now, which we will do. It will bring you to a website. Uh, usually it's like a, a download link website, and you want to click that download button again. So your download is now starting. It may say this will this could harm your device because it's an APK file. Uh, but this one I know is safe and most of them uh, that I've tested are safe. I've never had an issue. And it will say downloading. So what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads, uh, which you can see here. It says download complete for too many items mods. Click on it. Uh, and you want to then, you might get this message. If you get this message, just follow what I do. If you don't get this message, uh, then carry on installing. But if you get this install blocked, you need to go to your settings. It will go to security. And you want to go all the way down here to unknown sources. Tick that unknown sources box and allow initial installation only. So that will only allow uh, the one that you're going to install right now. So click OK on that. Um, and then what you want to do is click install in the bottom right here click that it will install it and you are done Believe it or not that is it so once you've done that what you want to do is open up Minecraft again Which is in the block launcher pro of course and you will have this new thing at the top of your screen So you can see at the top of my screen if I go to that uh, There is a little spanner if you click on the spanner what it does is it opens up uh, the Block Launcher Pro application, and you can patch mods into your game. You can magic, uh, manage the mod PE, Pocket Edition script. You can take a screenshot, or you can do the launcher options. Now, just to install any normal mod like I have done, all you need to do is patch mods into game, and hit the import button. Go to your downloads, and uh, your download will be here. I actually didn't download it because I've just installed it. Click on it, and that is it. You are done. That will be installed, and you will now have the Too Many Items mods. Now, the Too Many Items mod that I've just showed you is this little M in the top left of my screen. If I click on that, it brings up all these different things. And for example, say you want a little flower. You click on it. You click however many you want. So we want five. And add it to your inventory, and it is in your inventory. So you can spice up your house if you wanted, if that's exactly what you want to do. How do I even put this down? I don't know. I think it needs to be outside, actually. 
uh, on some dirt. But I don't even think I, I don't even have dirt out here. So that is it, guys. You are now free to explore the world of Pocket Edition with any mods that you want to. Be careful when you're downloading mods, those guys. Some of them will be dodgy, and I do not recommend downloading those. I only recommend downloading the ones that I showed you. Now, if you want to access your files, like your download files, I recommend downloading RAW. And from here, you can see you can go into all these different sections of your phone uh, and you can edit anything you need. You can drag and drop stuff. So, for example, if you've got a mod in downloads, you can drag and drop it from here. So that is it, guys. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button so that everybody can see this and they like it as well. But until next time, peace out.